In the first video of the playlist, we installed the Qt library. In this video we'll learn the basics of creating a desktop app. Import the sys module to send arguments to our application. Import Qt widgets to create application. Create a function to launch the desktop application. Send the argument from the sys module to terminate. Create a desktop window. Show the desktop window we created on the screen. Send argument to close app when close button is clicked. Call the function. Let's run our code and see our first desktop window. Instead of accessing Q application and Q main window from within Qt widgets, we can directly import them into our file. We don't need to use Qt widgets anymore. Let's run our code and see the same result. Let's set the starting position and size of our application mathematically. We will use the setGeometry command for this. Let's add a title to our desktop application. Let's take a closer look at the setGeometry command to better understand it. There are four parameters in the setGeometry command. The first two parameters specify the position of our desktop application in the X and Y coordinate system. The last two parameters set the window size of our desktop application according to the X and Y coordinate system. Let's better understand the setGeometry command by modifying the parameters. Let's run the program first. Pay attention to the title and position of our desktop application. Now let's change the four parameters in the setGeometry command and understand the position differences. You can better understand the setGeometry command by changing the parameters. Now let's add a photo to our desktop application. Import the required QIcon file for this. Download an image to your computer that you want to add to your desktop application. Copy the project path to upload the image to your project file. Copy the image to the project file. Now we can use the set window icon command to load the image. Run your code file. Our photo has been added to our desktop application. Now let's learn how to use the set tool tip command. If we do not move the mouse anywhere in the desktop application we have created, the text we have written in the code will appear. In this video, we learned the basics of desktop application design. We have not yet added features such as buttons, text boxes to our desktop application. With these two features, you will be able to make many simple applications such as desktop calculators on your own. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also follow us on our social media accounts.